this is the monthly horoscope for Taurus for the month of March 2023. Hello, my fabulous bulls. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. I did not skip Aries. It needed to be edited because my camera fell. I don't know how I did it. It just unscrewed itself and said, F this and bye, bitch. And I was like, what? <laughs> just like everybody else in my life. What? <laughs> Okay, bye. Anyway, share your love and support. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Also, I'm available for readings. Check it out in the link in the description box below. So, on the 2nd at 5.52 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mercury enters Pisces, where Mercury is a detriment in the sign of Pisces. This is going to be in your 11th house of friendships, networks, and goals. Also, my son is not feeling good, so he's dealing with allergies. Yes, I have pumped him with his medication, so that's all I can do. So, anyways, you can be reconnecting with people from your past. You can can be romanticizing your relationships or your alliances with people who are coming back from your past at this time. You can be working with people that you once upon a time worked with. Mercury and, and Pisces, of course, is a detriment. So you're very giving, going above and beyond for others, super gullible at this time. And you're more invested now in other people's drama because of the Lilith moon in Leo, which I talked about. I would probably keep your thoughts to yourself, mostly because there's um, lots of talks of future here at this time. This is a great time for, for like vloggers, bloggers, anything to do with writing you do well with. You can be a bit of a social butterfly and the focus can be more towards your friends and family. You can be starting a new creative project as well. You're very imaginative um, and you can be coming up with money making ideas. You will probably receive lots of invitations and so to social events. It is a good time to get out and socialize. Contacts can be formed that will help you with your career or a great time for networking. Concentration does not come easy at this time. You have a tendency to daydream. This is a favorable time for expressing your love or appreciation to someone and for making new friends and alliances. Negotiations, especially related to business transactions or settlements of disagreements agreements between two parties tend to go rather smoothly. Then on March 7th, 7.48 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, full moon in Virgo, this is in your fifth house. Um, so squaring is forming a T-square with the second, fifth, and eleventh house. For some of you, this could be whoever has to leave your life at this time. Let them leave your life. And no explanation, so you can get ghosted because we're dealing with mutable signs. So this is a time of just like hookups, Tinder, great time for those things, but nothing serious. Also, you can have falling out with just like friends, and they can block you for no reason, unfriend you, that kind of thing. This, and the people in your life can be, some people, or one particular person can be very toxic in your life. I would be careful with other people and your things, because somebody could be very sneaky at this time, and doing things behind your back with this energy. Also, for others of you, people could just be up and leave your life, and not even tell you why, not even in and just leave you hanging. And then you have to look for your like closure by yourself rather than receiving the damn closure from the other person. So a lot of things, you know, so it's just kind of like a sucky energy. And I don't blame you if you're going to go through it because it just sucks when people just leave you hanging. And then you're just like, what did I do wrong? What happened? Was there feelings between us? You know, you like you needed your closure so you can move on from the situation. You may not see your money back at this time so be careful with purchases that you make online you may not get what you want when you purchase things so this could be buyer's remorse you can be starting a new hobby and quietly working along with your hobby for others of you I would just be careful you may have a difficult time letting go of certain relationships or you need to know that the why and the reason why this person um, left you so you could become quite depressed with this energy or even neurotic and obsessed with the rejection that happened with this energy so try to see the blessing in the situation during this time period because everything happens for a reason I think it's just the whole rejection part is the hardest part to get over nobody likes to be rejected okay on the 7th at 8 35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Saturn enters Pisces in the 11th house of friendships networks and goals for the next two and a half years this is getting involved in a group or organization at this time. You're likely, for some of you, this can be a popular energy time for those of you in media and social media. This could be a time where you're really focusing on your social media um, page with this energy. For others of you, this could be you needing to be careful. So what's going to happen here is that Saturn in the 11th house, now direct, you are need to be careful with this energy and the responsibilities that you take on. Lilith Moon till October 
of this year, October 23rd, I think is when it goes into Virgo, but you have lessons with other people. And so this could be a situation here where you are watching somebody's kids and, or you're taking on other family members' obligations at this time with this energy. And then what's gonna happen when Saturn goes retrograde um, for a little bit in Pisces and stuff, you are going to um, feel resentful or what's going to happen, Saturn goes retrograde, goes back into um, into Aquarius. And so that obligation to that person ends during the summertime. But then what happens when Saturn goes direct around this time again next year, you're going to be back obligating yourself to this person. But then when Saturn goes retrograde in Pisces, you're really going to resent this relationship because you're going to be like, oh my God, like I'm doing everything. So I would be careful about how much you do for this person during this time period, okay? Um, because right now it's okay, but next year it's not going to be okay and you're going to feel the weight of this relationship. So it can cost you financially or it's going to just like inhibit you from doing the things that you want to do at this time. Um, so be careful with this. You can find yourself um, taking on other people's responsibilities within the home or focusing on the people um, outside the home at this time. So your relationships can suffer and children can feel neglected because you no longer have their time and attention. This could also be a new love interest coming in. This person could be a Pisces and you're, you know, so you're going to be like kind of like spreading yourself thin during this time period when it comes to spending time with people. You seek to know important and influential people who can help you advance your career and own status and career. You often establish friendship with older, serious, career-minded people who help you mature. You're single-minded, you your focus on your objective and reserved nature make it hard to get truly close to anyone at this time. On the 16th, 6.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Venus enters Taurus. For some of you, this is gonna be a popular energy time for you, all eyes on you. This is gonna be updating the face because we're dealing with the first house, changing your profile pictures, updating your profile pictures at this time. A popular energy time for you, a great time to mingle if you're single with this energy here you are all about your emotional stability and financial stability with this energy and you have a love for your finances okay if it's threatened you can get jealous or possessive or you can feel some kind of damn way or even neurotic at this time so your money situation is definitely dictating your emotional self at this time so be careful with that you're all about the almighty dollar because your planets are in Taurus so I would be careful with this energy and break away from the almighty dollar and don't don't allow your money situation so that means like when you get broke you feel it when you have to share your money you feel it and it makes you feel nasty so that kind of thing on the 19th at 12 24 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Mercury enters Aries in your 12th house um, where Mercury is a detriment in the 12th house and you're super impatient plus you have a stellum in your 12th house yikes so you tend to want to work more by yourself with this energy you don't like working in teams during this time period you can be dealing with your emotional hang-ups and your own insecurities you tend to help others behind the scenes and preferring to be by yourself you're able to produce original thoughts and think very quickly on your feet but you may make decisions or change your views suddenly and impulsively you're Thinking tends to be decisive, and your first choice is usually right, um, unless Mercury is heavily afflicted, and Mercury is going to be at zero degrees. So if you have other planets conjunct with Mercury, which means that they're together at zero degrees, but your natal planets are afflicted, then you can be less communicative with others, very shy, secretive, um, feeling socially awkward, that kind of thing. Sometimes bloggers and writers are very imaginative at this time as well. Um, this is a this is a great time for creating new projects with this energy, communicating with everybody at this time as well. Um, like whatever is interesting to you at this time, you do tend to see it all the way through. For others of you, this could be ending a relationship because of infidelities with this energy. So we can have a lot of like breakups happening or secret rendezvous. You will be very stubborn, selfish, and adamant in nature and will not listen to anyone's advice. You might take many immature and hasty decisions which result in huge losses. Then on the 20th, 
at 524 p.m. Eastern T Standard Time, the sun enters Aries in your 12th house of subconscious self-undoing, taking on the overtones of Pisces, and it's not well aspected at this time. So this could be a this could be like about creating your boundaries with your siblings at this time and not getting along with siblings. Not the best time for making impulsive decisions here because of the T-square happening with the 3rd, 6th, and 12th house. So you may not get along with other people that live outside the home or children could be a handful at this time. Um, whoever has to leave your life at this time, let them leave your life. Um, this is all about making decisions here with this energy. Mars is also afflicted, so not the best time to make impulsive decisions. So you may want to get a second opinion. Not the easiest time to believe what other people say, or you could be pressured into doing things at this time, like giving your money to somebody because somebody's putting you in crisis situation and it's very confusing and you don't know what the hell is going on with this energy, but you feel obligated to, to do so at this time. You could be dealing with somebody that has like um, problems with drugs, you know, that kind of thing, kind of pressuring you into doing things that you don't want to do at this time with this energy, but you don't know if it's true or not. So, you know, they're really pulling on your heartstrings during this time period. You can be withholding information from other people as well, and you could be very secretive at this time and keeping your feelings to yourself um, and whatever else that you got going on in your life, you're just keeping it more to yourself. If something's bothering you, you ain't expressing it. You're not saying anything about it, okay? Um, you're not wanting to communicate at this time, but be careful here because then you're going to make some choices that you don't want to make at this time. For some of you, you have lessons that are coming up and sharing. So you may not want to share your money with other people or you want to share you don't want to share and be open and honest about your feelings for other people at this time. So there's a lot of strange experiences that you could also be attracting into your life to teach you how to become less selfish and more about sharing, okay? Remember, sharing is caring, and then you're like, to an extent, bitch, okay? On the 21st at 1.23 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the new moon in Aries. This is in your 12th house of subconscious and self-undoing. So it's very hard for you or even overwhelming when you're trying to help everyone you may have spread yourself too thin you may have given yourself a lot of stuff to do on your plate at this time because you're feeling all spiffy like you could do it all and no you can't do it all I'm not a bull mm -mm. you work well with seeing one thing through all the way through so you can just focus on one thing at a time careful what you obligate yourself to because you can feel the weight of certain situations certain responsibilities or relationships on your shoulders careful how much you give because you can be tight-fisted with your money and fighting with other people over money because you're not willing to let go or share the wealth. This is fighting over things at this time, like fighting over selling a home um, of your parents or, you know, if you're divorced, selling a home, but you wanting to keep it in the family kind of situation or other family members, especially siblings wanting to, to sell the home. So it's messing with you emotionally because you're not willing to give it away because in a way, it's kind of like giving away your power or control over the situation, okay, which is like keeping it in the family at this time, alrighty, so then that you guys can control what go, who goes in, who goes where in that house, you know, so this month, don't be impulsive with your decision making, don't act on impulse, because you could be regretting your decisions that you are making, I would pick and choose your battles with other people, um, with this energy, especially at work, there could be layoffs happening at work, or for some of you, this could be like union, and stuff with the union coming up, and this could be a difficult energy time for you in regards to to finding work with this energy so this could be messing with your financial security so make sure to save money at this time um, your financial security is really going to be shook at this time with this energy I really would be cautious with your giving energy and not really helping others um, during this time period on the 23rd Pluto goes into Aquarius in your 10th house while Pluto is direct, beautiful freaking energy time for you, for my bulls. Very creative energy. Hobbies can be turned into money-making ideas during this time period. Very original, inventive in your way of thinking. I feel for some of you, there's a lot um, new, more protesting going on all over the world because bulls are nonconformist. So if it's not right and you're all about your social, your social justice, so... You could find bulls arguing over politics more than usual. A lot of power struggles here with those in authority, especially when it comes to um, 
treatment of other people, you know, so that can be going on and we're already seeing it with the nurses um, at this time as well. So there could be more like um, pickets going on in other areas. And this is over the next 20 years. So si certain systems, certain ways of doing things need to change. But for a lot of bulls, you know, this is a great time for politics for bulls. So those of you who are politicians, this is a great time for you as well, or just like activism, a lot of activists here. Um, over the next 20 years you need to save your money for a rainy day when Pluto goes retrograde because business will slow down alrighty during the retrograde period so your business may end up looking like a little bit seasonal you have a highly developed will strong desire to succeed strength courage tenacity and obsessive need to be the best I feel for others of you when you're older or those of you who are like 40 and older you can be you can be ruthless when it comes to getting what you want at this time with this energy um, at times when Pluto is going to be afflicted you'll be self-assertive determined and willing to fight authority to achieve your goals your ability to understand those in position of power and their motives enables you to be a spiritual leader in reforming existing power structures often with little or no conflict you'll likely be a leader in science or the occult for some of you um, for others of you you could be relying more on your intuition at this time with this energy your desire to reform and rehabilitate the world produces powerful friends and enemies but you tend to be misunderstood and therefore controversial I feel like for others of you, you could find that you're very, 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 very dictatorial, bossy, sometimes sadix, sadistic, because you see, Plu Aquarius, they like to think themselves like Libra, like we're PC love, we love everybody, but really, they do, and they're about bigger picture, but it's going to be how I want it done, and it's going to be how I want it to be. In the moment you try to put put your two cents in, it's like, hell no, this is my ship, bitch. We're going to run it my way. And it's like, whoa, okay, okay. That's how Libra and Aquarius be. You get an Aquarius and a Libra. That's why we don't ever see an Aquarius and Libra booed up. I have never seen that. Because they would kill each other. They would literally kill each other. Because Libras have to be in control. Aquarius is like, oh yeah, I'm PC politically correct. But really, they want to be in control. You know? So it's like, you know, you're going to be very much the control freak at this time. So be careful with this. Because ego going to run. All right? You're going to be like, I'm so PC politically correct. Mm-mm. To an extent okay so be careful with your controlling ways at this time if people don't want to change don't fix them this could be making some drastic career change as well this could be like going back to school to become a nurse or something like that or just making your own path at this time with this energy and going into a totally different career direction for some of you on the 25th at 7 45 a.m. Mars enters cancer where it's a fail your intuition is strong and usually reliable. You're, am, you're ambitious, yet timid, tenacious, yet changeable, not outwardly aggressive, yet firm and calm in emergencies and independent, yet very domesticated. You're hardworking, original, moody, wanting... Um, um, people rely on you more you rely more on yourself you're not re you don't rely on others you tend to be very independent with this energy um, for some of you those of you who are living with mother you could find yourself really butting heads with mother at this time and those of you in your teens you could find yourself like um, wanting to like separate yourself from your parents wanting to move out and be more independent and on your own so you could be really fighting with parents during this time period especially those of you in your teens or in your early 20s so you could be making it a point to like get your financial situation situated so you don't have to rely on mother or dad or whoever you have to rely upon so you could be trying to move out this year with this energy as well because you don't like to be told what to do so for some of you with Pluto in your 10th house you could be fighting with family members at this time because you want to be the patriarch or the matriarch of the family and they're like ah, 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 you're gonna do what ah, ah, ah. so Card as above, so below with this energy. The Three of Wands, a time for growth, a time for moving forward. This could be a beautiful time for career for some of you with this energy as well. The Nine of Cups, my yes card to whatever question I did not answer is yes with this energy. The Hermit card, I feel for, oh, as I connect with the Hermit card, I feel for some of you this is a great time to mingle if you're single with this energy. The Four of Coins, you can be stuck in your ways of thinking during this time period as well. 
well or you may not be getting along with certain people with this energy so you may have to bend like the palm tree i know you can be the nine of swords this is dealing with your fears and emotional hang-ups at this time your anxieties oh and here goes my camera again or you could be like really second guessing yourself on certain situations oh this is not happening again oh you could be second guessing yourself on certain situations the justice card i feel like this is a time for destiny and this is a time where like everything that like the world like kind of like works in your favor and everything is in harmony with the things that you want to do at this time so you have like a really easy time getting your way with situations you are ending cycles at this time but for some of you you could be trying to hold on to certain cycles and you're really reluctant to move forward so either way you're manifesting it in your life and i feel like the universe is going to serve it if you deserve it so if you find yourself like being at a at a stagnation you're unhappy but you're scared to move the universe is going to do it for you, okay? For some of you, yeah, you're having a difficult time moving forward. This could be like um, career, like getting, like people just getting nasty with career at this time and like kind of like butting heads with you with this energy and, you, you know, and the, and the universe in a way is going to kind of like or is going to push you out of the situation or make it so uncomfortable for you that you have to leave, okay? So it's up to you what you want to do with that energy, but I do feel like eventually you'll move on. The Eight of Swords, you can be going through it emotionally during this time period as well. So again, not the easiest time for you with this energy. For some of you, this is a great time for fashion designers with this energy, or you could be making your own clothes with this energy here, or you're just more about um, taking a great more of appreciation on the way you look okay the eight of wands talks of travel or good news coming in for you the knight of wands i feel like this time of new beginnings new people coming into your life you can be very cerebral in your head with all these like wand cards and then the eight of swords so i feel like for some of you here this can be a great time for those of you who are in computers technology so there's new technology you could be learning at this time for others of you you're needing more security in your life at this time so this your thoughts could be more towards your money situation or money worries with this energy so that could be coming up during this time period as well the nine of swords ending cycles depression happening i feel for some of you you're very hard on yourself at this time you're very much the perfectionist with this energy here um you can be dealing with somebody that's manipulative you can be feeling lonely at this time you could be dealing with a liar with this energy for some of you be careful with chargebacks at this time um as well because somebody could be using you for your money with this energy or you have lessons with money or with um identity theft so i would be careful and very protective of um your financial situation at this time because somebody could be trying to um get in that and trying to steal from you okay the knight of swords i feel like you could be starting a new creative project with this energy when you speak other people listen and other people tend to dance to your tune the lover's card a great time for contracts and negotiations to come through this is a great time to mingle if you're single i feel like for some of you here this is endings coming up with relationships at this time and also if it's not with a relationship then it's with a group or organization and it's going to feel like a divorce these people could actually get really nasty with you to the point where you feel really uncomfortable so it might be some nasty falling outs happening for some for some of my bulls at this time with this energy like i said if you're not supposed to be someplace it's going to challenge you a lot so they could start taking away things from you i mean they could be really hard on you at this time for others of you i see a soulmate happening here with this energy okay i feel for some of you you may meet somebody that is your match okay um as well so this is a very good time for new love like i said if you're single great time to mingle the world card i do feel like the world works in your favor at this time definitely soulmate connection going on here so beautiful time for soulmates i feel like you are destined to meet this person the four of cups i feel like you can feel a little bit more at ease or certain things are starting to fall into place for you with this energy here beautiful time for love maybe you feel very comfortable with this person or maybe it's like your yang to your yang kind of situation the empress card i feel with this energy here you can be dealing with a dominating woman at this time this person makes you long for loneliness so i would just not talk to this person or just try to avoid dominating people this month as well with this energy ooh, the seven of swords this is somebody that you may have had like an emotional 
um, affair with, somebody that you've been wanting to come into your life. So you're just going to make it known. Okay, so fate is going to intervene, divine intervention is going to happen, or you may just finally say F it and then just reach out to this person, but no longer are you spying on this person, no longer are you guys spying on each other. I do feel like for some of you here, you're not done with a toxic relationship in your life as well, you're not done leaving it. For some of you, you could be getting into like making lifestyle changes into your life, but you're just not ready for change at this time, but to an extent you are because you're starting to reach out to this person and talk Talk to them. The Ace of Wands taking creative risks, very cerebral and in your head about things with this energy as well. The Four of Swords, I feel like for some of you, you can be going on a spiritual retreat. For others of you, this could be taking classes for like um, creative writing. I feel like um, a dominating person makes you long for loneliness. I do feel like you are more to yourself during this time period. For others of you, you are reconnecting with people from your past. So don't be surprised people from your past like start reaching out to you via social media during this time period because all the um, wands over here with this energy. The Knight of Coins. Um, I feel like for some of you here, you have lessons with your giving energy. So be careful. You're super generous at this time. Be careful how much you do for other people because other people may take advantage of you, God forbid, with this energy. I do feel like for some of you here, this is a time of new new beginnings. You're birthing business plans. You're birthing new ideas at this time with this energy. So it's a beautiful time for that. I feel like there's a change in your career to be more abundant. So you can look for a better paying job or a better paying job could fall on your lap is what I feel. The two coins you already know this person so you guys are reconnecting with people from your past or this is somebody that you want to reconnect with um and you two are going to reconnect okay the high priestess card Ooh, all right so this you guys definitely soulmate energy um definitely but this is also a time of introspection so for some of you with the wand cards you could be thinking about it and this is a time for you that you're more withdrawn and more within yourself at this time. So you could be a little bit shy or timid to do so. I do feel like this person may have a crush on you as well. I do see traditional dating coming up for some of you here. I do see this person being a person of power of influence as well with this energy. Um, or this person is a very like important person in their field. For some of you, you're definitely dealing with a toxic relationship with a dominating person. The judgment card, major decisions are coming up at this time. For some of you, you could be going to court. Like I said, a divorce could be happening here as well with this energy and ending of a relationship. And then the full card, I feel like for some of you, you're your own muse at this time with this energy here. And then for others of you, love relationship can go fast. This is a beautiful beginning for love relationships. I feel like this could be a serious relationship, okay? Even if you don't want one, there's a serious relationship around you. Okay. All right, kisses. Mm -hmm.